Hi there, and welcome to this short video from Kidasa Software about a couple of our import options from MS Project, Birds on a Wire, as well as Coded Presentation Timeline. This is a live demo, so let's get started. So I've opened up my MS Project file. So first, let's see what a Birds on a Wire chart looks like when you bring it into Milestones. You can see in this small preview right here that you group tasks based on what type of task it is, and you bring in that finish date into the same row. So each of these rows is going to use a different code in our coded option. For this particular coded option, coded presentation timeline or birds on a wire, we use a text field. So let's go to our MS project file and modify a text field. Now I'm going to start typing codes based on how I want these tasks to be grouped when I bring them into milestones. So for instance, if I want to group it by project, I can type alpha and make all of these alpha. I'll type beta here, make these beta, and so on. We're just giving each of these tasks a code that milestones we use to group these tasks when it brings it in from MS Project. All right, so we've got our text one field set up how we want it. So let's go to Milestones Professional. Let's go to Connections, Create Report from Project. Let's load up that file that's opened in Project right now. On this screen, we're going to select Create Swim Lane Schedules Using Codes. Uh, you're going to want to make sure your outline level is set high. Um, you don't have a flag field set unless you are using a flag field. And you probably want Unique ID up here. So let's say Create Swim Lane Schedules Using Codes and press Next. Now this is where you choose what type of schedule you want to create using codes. So today I'm going to be covering Birds on a Wire as well as Coded Presentation Timeline. You can see the big difference between the two is that Birds on a Wire have all of the symbols on top of the wire and Coded Presentation Timeline has symbols on top and on the bottom. Uh, that's the big difference there in Coded Presentation Timeline versus Birds on a Wire. So let's set our symbol text. Um, this just means that each symbol is going to come in using this task name field in project. So let's just keep it as name. For the code field, we're going to choose text1. Uh, this is the code field that we set up in project. For the field length, let's go ahead and set that at 4. Um, our beta code is only 4 characters, so that keeps it pretty simple. And then we're going to go to Set Code Names and Colors. So we get this new dialog box here, and this is where we're going to actually type in what our codes are and what we want the title of that code to be. Uh, remember, our field length is 4, so let's get started with alpha. I'm just going to type ALPH. I'm going to say Project Alpha, and I'm going to pick a background color. Same thing with beta, project beta, and I'm going to pick a different background color. Same thing with project gamma, just the first four characters. I'm going to say green right there for project delta, D-E-L-T. I'm going to choose a nice blue for the background. At this point, you could save this set if you want to retrieve it later. If you run through the import option again, you're going to have this automatically saved unless you come in here and uh, change it. So you don't have to save it if you want to use this exact same configuration again. But if you do change it, um, you need to save it and then retrieve it if you want to use it again. I'll press OK. And now you can see we're using coded presentation timeline, text, fi text field is text1, field length is 4. So at this point we could press next or we can press finish. 
At this point, I'm just going to press Finish, and we'll see how it brings it in to Milestones. Import complete. We can then look at these symbols and go to the Symbol Links tab, and you'll see Unique ID 9 is Finish for Project Gamma. So if you go to Project, you insert your Unique ID field. You'll see Unique ID 9, Project Gamma, Finish is 8 1 2012. So it brought in all of these dates. The tagging is important if you want to refresh your schedule later. It'll update these dates for you. So let's talk about changing up our text field and importing the same project in a different manner. So if I go back to project, I've got this text too that I'm not using. So let's pretend that I want to group it by design and test. So for this one, I'm going to say design. Same thing here, design. And I'm just going to copy these. OK, design. And I'm going to say test for this. And this is going to use a different coding scheme that we'll design when we get into milestones. So I'm going to go back to milestones. I'm going to say Connections, Create Report from Project, same project, press Open. I'm going to say Create Swim Lane Schedules Using Codes. I'm going to say Coded Presentation Timeline again. Code field is going to be Text 2. And we can keep the field length at 4. Um, just to keep it simple, we've got Design and Test. So now I'm going to go to Set Code Names and Colors. I'm going to clear all these old ones. And I'm going to enter Design and Test. So DESI for Design and Test for Test. Change these background colors to some nice bright yellows and pinks. I'm going to press OK. So now it's going to do the same thing, except it's going to group them using text field 2, since I've set text 2 right here. So let's press Finish. And you'll see I brought in the same data from project in a different way. The design milestones are all on one row, and the test milestones are all on the second row. Um, previously, we had grouped it by project. So you can see. The coded presentation timeline and birds on a wire are pretty versatile in letting you use different text fields to accomplish different views from Microsoft Project. Thanks for watching this video from Kidasa Software. Check the video description for any applicable downloads, including the MS Project file, for you to follow along with as you watch the video. Thanks for watching and email support at kidasa.com or visit our website at kidasa.com. Thanks a lot.